today we talked about idea validation and how to know if you have a good idea to take to market. And uh, we did some testing of that and I think we covered some really great questions today. The idea with the workshop is to, to try to really practice a new techniques, a new process, uh, in order the, to let them realize how powerful they could be new tools to really provide this market with this new value. The business model canvas is very important because it makes them think about the value they generate for the customer, the partners, the channels, and uh, several things that they need to understand how they are interconnected. Instead of being so overwhelmed and sort of getting so much in your head, how do you put it on paper? How do you make it super practical? How do you refine your thoughts? And then how do you build a framework to do something about it? What's really important to have an uh, industrial partner is first, you need credibility. Second, you need the money. And third, you need customers. And they have a network of customers. So you are going to get credibility, money, and customers, which is the most important thing for a startup. So I have explained basically our experience on how we created Signalen and how we went from a spin-off of our research institute, how we raised money and how we finally sell it to, uh, to an international uh, company from the United States. So this course is for, um, I don't want to say entrepreneurs, I want to say people curious about the entrepreneurship world. What happens when a private company comes to you and what to collaborate? What happens when you um, develop a project that need to protect your IP? What happens if you have an idea that you really think that can be something interesting for the market? How to raise money, how to protect your ideas, how to create the company, how in fact to talk to all the people that are moving in this environment. So this innovation journey has been, uh, let's say, our first seat to help our people to be able to answer this question. We got more than 48 hours talking about technologies, market opportunities, idea validation, IP protection, business plan, and at the end, helping researchers to unleash their inner entrepreneur. We designed the contents of the program based on the real journey that a startup or a spin-off has to walk through. And it was a human-centric design, focusing on the skills and needs of the participants and also making them learning the key topics from real experiences of real people. The innovation journey has been a really useful experience for me and the most valuable thing has been to meet people with success stories but also with a, a failure which is a very important when you have to build your own, your own story and your own journey. The innovation journey has provided me a complete overview from idea to business model, market approach, pitching and fundraising to maximize the probability of success of our next endeavor. Now I, when I do my research I can have some hinderings about what would be interesting for the industry, uh, what would be a good uh, research direction, so I can work on that. And I also can identify opportunities that maybe end up with being a spin-off from BCC. I don't know. Uh, let's give it a try. Thank you.
Thank you.